What do they do? They demonize ulama as well. They demonize them. Become whatever you want. Don't ever think of becoming a Molvi. Don't ever think. We have three or four sons, three mashallah, very strong, fit, mashallah, very intelligent. One will become a doctor, one will become an engineer, and a third will become a lawyer. Chotha Lula Langara, Pejo Madrasa. Send him to the Molvis Bichara. He ain't gonna get anything anyway. Have we met have we what have we turned the deen into? So what have we made? We've made this now this gap between us and the youngsters, and this has also contributed to the factor as well. We've in our homes, the is there real azmat for deen? Do the youngsters get that vibe from us that subhanallah their deen is something really important? Who are we learning our deen from? And I will add this in as well. This is the shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Such small remuneration and people are happy to sacrifice their time, their health, their wealth for the sake of the upliftment of the people within their localities. This is Alhamdulillah, Shukr Alhamdulillah that some people are making that sacrifice. But what are we doing? We've now demonized them as well. We've now demonized some people who are attached to knowledge. So the youngsters, they're now making an even bigger gap. They're not in touch. They don't think that the ulama can solve their problems. So they don't come to the masjid. And to make it worse, we put in the child's mind, do anything you want. Just don't go down this route. Don't go down this route. One youngster came to me, and I will add this as well, alhamdulillah, I was a teacher teaching GCSE mathematics as well. One youngster came to me and he said, I'm really stuck on quadratic equations. So I said, come bismillah, I'm, I'm a master at it, let me go. And I said, sit there and do them for fun. So he sat down and I taught him how to do it and he was really appreciative that fact that you taught me how to do something which I was stuck and I was afraid that I was going to go into an exam and get a sifr and a zero he went home and I said to him yeah you can come in three four days time when three four days came he never came so I bumped into him I said you should have come I was here to help you he said when I went home my father asked me where have you been I said I was around I'm Abdul Majid but he referred to me as Maulana's house I went around Maulana's house so he said what was you doing there and he said he was teaching me mathematics. He goes, you're a liar. <laughs> oh, Molvi, okay, who said I mathematics? He just hit the message. Where did he learn mathematics from? He goes, you're lying. You're lying. Where did he learn maths? Yeah. You must have been talking about Islam. He's brainwashing you, isn't he? Allahu Akbar. And then he forbade him. You are not to go around his house. You know, subhanallah, we become demons or something. Demons. Are we like, for example, now, you know, like, stuck for the worst thing, Toba Toba. You know, the mums in the house, they say, Khabardar, but there may be Molvi Zab Nubla Arya. I'm gonna call the Molvi Zab to sort you out. Sort yourself out. So the Molvi Zab is like this boogeyman, you know, there's like Hulk Hogan type figure, and there's an like incredible Hulk. That bitch, he's gonna come and with Dunda. One youngster, one woman, she bought her son, and she said, We want our son to come and study with you. I said, By all means, this man. So then she said to me, She said, Beta, apne Molvi Sahab ki baat sunni, warna ye soti marte soti. You have to listen to what the Molvi Sahab, the Sheikh, is saying, otherwise he has a stick in his possession. And I stopped her, I said, Please, no, no, no. And I said, We do not do such things. I said, Jaha tum kare hum khaid, khalai dande, hum khalayenge ande. No. If you're saying a danda, uh, it, it sounds nice in Urdu, forgive me. <laughs> if you're hitting a stick, we will give them something to eat. We're not looking to hit and... and uh, this is not the sunnah way. But can you see the mizad which has made? Now they've separated themselves and become more and more distant. The most valuable thing we have youth.